Hey YouTube, welcome to Scorpio Tiger Tarot. I'm excited because this is my first video and I've been procrastinating. <laughs> I've actually been studying tarot for about a year and a half and I still have to look back at my notes. Um, but I feel real comfortable with my spirit guides, um, with uh, my father. Um, and um, I want to start doing my readings on for YouTube for you guys. So this is a weekly reading. Um, I'm going to start with Aries. Um, I am a Scorpio with a Aries rising. So this is, and I noticed as I'm getting older that Aries, uh, my Aries traits are <laughs> becoming more forefront, more to, they're coming more to the forefront. So, and that's what they say, your, your rising usually is more of your personality as you get older. Your son, your son's sign is oh, as you are in your youth, you know. So that's what it is. So when I watch my when I watch other tarot readers, um, when I watch other tarot readers, Aries really resonates with me. Um, sometimes more than Scorpio, but Scorpio also resonates with that Aries be hitting home. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you, Father. Uh, let's get a reading for Aries for the week. Of December the 28th till uh, to the 3rd, right? 29, 30, 39. Oh, to the 1st. Okay. Okay. Monday through Friday. Let's see what's going on with you guys. With what's going on with Aries for this week. And it's a general reading, so take what, what resonates. If it doesn't fit your life, don't make it. Don't force it. Don't do that to yourself. And it can be about anything. Money, love, relationships, whatever I see. That's what I'm going to tell you about. Okay. Aries. For the end of the year. Okay. Overall energy. The Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is usually about conflict, defeating your enemies. Um, yeah. So let's hope that's not what's going on there. But it's just an energy. So let's just see what's going on with that. Let me get a card for Monday through Friday. Thank you. One card. And then we're going to clarify it with the mini. Um, I have a mini cat uh, deck. I'm going to clarify each day. Okay. Aries. What's going on with the Aries Collective for this week? What is the energy surrounding Aries for the week? Let me get five cards, please. What did I say? Welcome to Scorpio Tigers Tarot. Thank you. Welcome to Scorpio Tigers Tarot. Okay, the Eight of Swords came out first. We got the Eight of Swords. Somebody is feeling stressed out and bound. Yeah, inner turmoil is what I'm getting from that card right now. So that's Monday. Let me get a card for Tuesday. Uh oh. Let me get a card for the energy for Tuesday for Aries. For the Aries Collective. Really? There's nothing going on with Aries for the week? <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to draw from the top. So, Aries, what's going on with y'all? Y'all stressing or what? Okay, you're stressing about something from the past. Could be family. And it's a decision you need to make. Okay. 
So we got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I need two more cards for Thursday and Friday. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on, Aries? Are you stressing about the clothes you're going to wear for New Year's? Your kids getting on your nerves after Christmas. <laughs> you done gave them everything. Now they only want to act right. They getting on your nerves, fighting over the stuff, the toys you done bought them. It's really going on. <laughs> yeah, that's something y'all should know about me. I'm silly. Yeah. Scorpio Tiger. When you think of me, think of Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. You're so silly. That's me. Oh my goodness, if y'all can see what be going on in my head. <sighs> I love the smile. Can I get two more cards for Aries for the rest of the week for Thursday and Friday so we can clarify? Please and thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for joking because I know this is this is uh some stressful stuff going on here with the overall energy being the five of swords but the five of swords is about defeating your enemies coming out victorious someone trying to do something to you and you're going to come out victorious in the end bringing all that stress and strife your way but it's just it looks like you need to make a decision about something from the past and you're at a crossroads with the moon you know what I'm going to do? Okay. You got the devil. Energy. So you feel bound to something. An addiction, a person, a job. Your grandkids. Your daughter might have left you with your grandkids. Your son left you with your grandkids. You feeling trapped? I don't know. Anything else? Thank you, Father. Uh oh. Well, they came out, so I'm going to take them. Okay. So it, it's some kind of family issue. Oh man, it's not. It's a, it could be, but you got the Eight of Swords at the bottom, which is heartbreak. So we got the Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords. We have the Six of, of Cups, the Moon, Pisces energy, the Devil, Capricorn energy, the Four of Wands, um, love and happiness. And then the tower, which is not always bad. The tower, the tower is, you know, it could be uh, the ending to a terrible time in your life. And you just, and it's, and it's finally coming to an end. A karmic, a karmic uh, uh, time in your life. And it's coming to an end. Let's get some clarifiers. Let's clarify this. Just and, and 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 like I said, the five of swords is overall energy. So that that means, hey, it's, it's it's something that you maybe had to battle for, and it's coming to an end. And and when it's over, you're gonna come out victorious. So let's get some clarifiers for the Aries Collective. What's going on with the Aries Collective? Okay. Let's get a clarifier for this Eight of Swords. Why are the Aries feeling bound? Okay. That's way too many. My goodness. Okay. Okay. We got the moon again, secrets. So there's secrets. 
We have the Page of Swords, which is the Stalker card. Somebody's watching you. And uh, the Ten of Pentacles. So, what it looks like is you need to make a decision about something, Aries. Um, you need to make a decision about something here. You don't know all the facts, but you need to, to make a decision here. If I remember, remember, remember the Five of Swords is, is the overall energy. So, you're going to make the right decision. Okay? Um, don't stress about that. And then you got somebody's watching you. Um, and, and, and money. So these are the things that you are feeling that's holding you back. This is for the energy for Monday. But you're going to be victorious. You figure it out. Okay. The Six of Cups. Why is that here? Why is the Six of Cups here? Thank you. Oh. Um, so a past energy, a past love is um, going to want to offer you um, a full, a, a, a cup of love that's overflowing. Wow. Wow. Look at you, Aries. Why is the moon here for Wednesday? Okay. It's secrets. And you have the death card and the five of swords in reverse. Ah. Five of Swords in reverse. What does that mean again? That's mental illness, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. So, so Wednesday, they're saying that you're going to be totally stressed out on Wednesday um, because of this new beginning that you that you want to make, that you need to make. You got a decision to make on what direction you want to go into, but it's causing you a lot of mental anguish with the Five of Swords. I'm praying for y'all. The devil. Why is the devil here? Just remember, you got the Five of Swords upright up here at the, at the, at the, as your overall energy. You're going to be victorious. Don't worry about that. The Devil, why is that here? Why is the energy here? The Seven of Wands in reverse. I'm sorry. I got to look that up. I don't, I'm not sure. I know Seven upright is, um, Seven of Wands upright is uh, victory, victory over your enemies. So the seven of wands in reverse would be oh anxiety and embarrassments. So 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 there's something going on 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 Thursday about this this uh, this connection that you have with someone. So this old energy is coming back to you. Someone's coming back from the past offering you this cup of love. And you are going to be perplexed. That's what it's saying about what to do because they're offering you a new beginning. You don't know which way to go. It's got you so confused and stressed out. Um, yeah, and then with the devil, with the seven of, seven of wands in reverse, it's, it's saying you just don't know about that toxic energy. You are confused as I don't know what, like, I don't know what to do with this. But they, then they give you the four wands. Why is the four wands here? Thank you for making that clear to me. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Okay. Because that, that four wands, that stability that you want, that stability that you want, that family and everything, it's your wish. They gave me three cards. It's your wish, the star card, Aquarius energy. But you remember that heartbreak. You, you can't forget that heartbreak because you've been sitting in it too long. But this is what you want. That's, your per per well, that's why you're perplexed. Wow. Wow. So tell us how this this week for Aries is going to end. What is going on? Why is this tower here? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why is this tower here? Thank you. Oh. Because you're going to focus on yourself with the page of wands. I'm going to just make sure that's right. And I know that's right. The page of wands. I think that's you focusing on yourself, your business. What it is that you want to do for yourself. It's a wonderful card. 
Oh, okay. Oh, you're going to put an end to it. That's what it is. It's, it's an immature, very sexual person. This is about uh, departure, flight, absence. Yes, it's definitely talking about an ending. That's uh, that's the whore card. <laughs> I didn't even uh, I didn't remember that. <laughs> that's the whore card because they they quick to come and go. Am I, I, I? Oh, I'm looking at the Knight of Wands. Oh my gosh, no! I told y'all I just I just started reading. <laughs> I just I'll be forgetting some of the stuff. I gotta go to my notes. <laughs> Give me just a second. Yeah, that's the Page of Wands. The page of wands. Yeah, it's a lucky card. A dark young man, faithful but unknown. Great background. Creative ideas and goal oriented. I was right about the card. I knew it. I knew it was. I knew it. I was right about the card. Okay. <laughs> okay. So so that was the tower. The tower is endings or new beginnings. It could be either or the ending of a terrible time or it could be the beginning of something. Tearing down the old and, and beginning the new. But it's clarified with it's clarified with the with the page of, of wands. And the page of wands is a business card. And it's a lucky card. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's 72 cards in this deck. I've been studying for over a year and a half. <laughs> I'm still trying to learn these cards. But I let spirit guide me. I'm an intuitive reader. Okay. Okay, Aries, that's your reading um, for this week, December 28th. I might do y'all's again. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's what I'm seeing. You're stressed out about your money. This, this past person that keeps coming back trying to offer you all this love. You just don't know which way to go. And that's what's got you stressed out on Monday. Um they're they they're 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 really pressing and pressuring you on Tuesday. Looks like just this overall, um, it's really got you stressed out because it's what you want, but this person has deceived you. Not only is the three of cups at the bottom of the tarot deck after I was done dealing, it's also in combination with the with the wish card <laughs> and the four of wands. Clarify. Is it, these are clarifying the four wands. So you're not sure if you want to do this. It's what you want. It's your wish with the wish card. It's your wish with the star card. But you, 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 it's hard for you to forget because you've been sitting in this pain for so long about what they've done to you. Yeah, that's not cool. That's not cool. I'm going to get... I, I'm going to... Uh, draw some um what are these cards called the dream oracle yeah you guys know these cards i love these cards they're so beautiful let's see if it's some advice for aries the aries collective And like I told y'all, <laughs> these areas need to be resonating with me. And this one actually does. Wow. But yeah. Let's see if there's any... Any advice for you guys. Any advice for Aries Collective? Thank you, Father. Any advice to help them through this? Okay. Okay. All right. Anything else? Oh, that must really want to come out. Okay. Wow. I don't know if all these were supposed to come out, but I'm going to look at them. Um, what you're being told is uh, perfect timing. Within the next few weeks. Look how pretty those cards are. Because you're ready. You're probably ready to take that, make that move, to move on with that business. Follow your dreams. And listen to your intuition, most definitely. If you feel it in your gut, you better run with it. <laughs> because they say there's something better. There's something better coming for you. Oh, yeah. I believe it. 
unlikely. Now this card means something to somebody. I don't know what it means for you, but the answer is unlikely. Okay. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Scorpio, Tar Scorpio Tiger Tarot. And I hope to see you soon. Subscribe if you like. Hit that like button if you like my video. I appreciate you all. Have a good week. All right. Bye-bye.